Engine valves are critical components in controlling the flow of air, fuel, and exhaust gases in an internal combustion engine. Here's a bit more detail on the types and operation. Poppet valves. These are the most common type used in automotive engines. They consist of a valve stem and a disc, which pops up and down to allow or block flow. Sleeve valves. These are used in some specialized engines. A sleeve valve is a cylindrical sleeve that moves inside the cylinder and controls the intake and exhaust by aligning or misaligning openings. Reed valves. Typically found in two-stroke engines and small engines, reed valves are thin metal or composite strips that open or close based on pressure differences, allowing air-fuel mixtures to flow in one direction. In general, the larger intake valve ensures maximum air enters the combustion chamber for efficient fuel burning, while the smaller exhaust valve efficiently expels burnt gases, maintaining the flow balance in the engine. This balance between intake and exhaust is essential for engine performance. You said, how much energy is wasted by these valves and their accessories? ChatGPT said, ChatGPT, the energy wasted by engine valves and their accessories like camshafts, valve springs, and rocker arms primarily comes from friction, pumping losses, and the energy needed to open and close the valves. This energy waste can be divided into three main categories. One, frictional losses. The camshaft, which opens and closes the valves, is driven by the crankshaft. The rotation of the camshaft and the movement of related components, rocker arms, valve springs, produce friction. This friction leads to energy losses, though they are relatively small compared to total engine losses. These friction losses are typically part of what's known as mechanical efficiency losses and can amount to around 2 to 5% of the engine's total power output. Two. Pumping losses. Pumping losses occur when the engine expends energy to move air and exhaust gases in and out of the combustion chamber. As the intake valve opens, the piston moves down to draw air in, and as the exhaust valve opens, the piston pushes exhaust gases out. Any restriction in the flow of air or exhaust increases these pumping losses. These losses can account for up to 10 to 15% of the engine's total energy consumption especially at part load or low speed operation. This is why intake valve design, port shapes, and the timing of valve events are carefully engineered to reduce resistance. Three, valve train inertia. The energy needed to overcome the inertia of the valve train, particularly the springs, also leads to energy losses. The valve springs resist the camshaft's motion as they are compressed and releasing this stored energy as the valve closes is not perfectly efficient. This can be particularly significant at higher engine speeds, where the valves are opened and closed rapidly, increasing the energy required to compress the springs. Total estimated energy loss. In total, valve operation-related losses in a traditional internal combustion engine can contribute to about 5 to 10% of the engine's total energy output. Modern engine designs try to minimize these losses using techniques like variable valve timing, VVT, which optimizes valve operation according to engine load and camless valve systems, which use electromagnetic actuators to eliminate many of the mechanical losses associated with traditional valve systems. For example, in your engine, if it is an opposed piston design without traditional valves, you might significantly reduce or eliminate some of these mechanical and frictional losses potentially improving overall efficiency.